Hi, this is a quick look at the ICOM ICR 9000. Uh, I'll just go through a couple of things that uh, I found out about the receiver recently uh, through doing it myself basically. So it's to do with the feed, the power feed. Now this radio can run off 230 volts in the UK with a uh, kettle lead I suppose they're called. Well, the real name is a base number, I don't don't know, but a kettle lead, basically, that plugs into the back. Um, and they will run on that, and they run great. Uh, brilliant, no interference, anything like that. Unfortunately, at the back, if we move over to the back slowly there, we've got a big heat sink there. Now, that big heat sink gets so hot you could cook an egg on it. So, although it does the job perfectly, I'm sure it's made to dissipate the heat and design well. Unfortunately, it does get very, very hot, uh, even in a, um, a sort of room that is there, 18.5 degrees Celsius, not particularly hot room. Uh, it will get very, very hot after about half an hour, 45 minutes of running. Um, what I will say is, if you run it on 12 volts, it, sorry 13.8 volts if you run the lead obviously you have to take this little jumper out the back that's what uh, transfers the power from the internal source and back into the radio if you're going to use a external 13.8 volt power supply uh, you will need to make sure it's 13.8 volts minimum at the actual receiver uh, and you'll have to uh, you'll have to um, Make sure you haven't got any volt drop. Like, for instance, I had about 0 0.2 volts dropped at the receiver, and it was buzzing because it had 13.6 volts, not 13.8 dead. So 13.8 to something like 14.5, I think it runs on, possibly even 15. Um, and if you run any other equipment, such as your CB radio, uh, lamps and things like that, and your, your meters, even a little voltmeter like this, volt and current meter there, uh, and this speaker, anything like that, on the same power supply, then it will give you a buzz, sort of an interference buzz. So my lesson is uh, feed it with its uh, own power supply. Um, you want one, one to three amps, I should imagine, it's not very current thirster. And you want the voltage to be at least sort of 13.8, 13.9 at the receiver itself. Okay, I'll come back with a full review on this receiver at some point. Thanks for watching.